The popping of arcing electric lines were just the beginning of an hours long battle for Abilene firefighters and a problem for the oldest operating building in the key city. That is tonight's top story. Good evening. Thank you for choosing KTAB News. I'm Stacy Lopez. And I'm Bob Bartlett with coverage you can count on. The Abilene Reporter News Building caught fire this morning, taking more than four hours to extinguish. And KTAB's Claire Kreitz joins us now from the scene of the fire in downtown Abilene. Claire? In the news business, we are usually behind the scenes reporting on the biggest story. Well, today the Abilene Reporter News became that story. Just this afternoon, this entire street was blocked off. As many as eight fire trucks, 60 firefighters worked for hours battling an intense fire at the Abilene Reporter News building. A small spark. We thought we just blew a breaker. Igniting a fire, consuming the rooftop of Abilene Reporter News. The lights were flickering, everything went down, alarms were going off, and then we, the fire alarm started going off, and that's when we evacuated the building. Fire crews worked from the inside of the building and from the top of the roof to put out the blaze. But as the fire became more intense. Chief Flores arrived on scene and took command of the fire and determined it was too, un too, sa too unsafe to continue these operations and ordered an evacuation of firefighters from the structure, at which time we went defensive. With eight trucks on scene, including three ladder trucks, fighting this fire from above. More than four hours later. Our aerial ladders using master streams extinguished the fire. Now we saw fire crews out here until about 7 this evening inspecting and assessing the damage. We do want to send our condolences to our friends and colleagues at the Abilene Reporter News. Reporting live from downtown Abilene with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. Back to you guys in the studio.